Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to show you this is disassembled. This is an Aurora 88k piston filler fountain pen. Before we go into it, first of all, let me just tell you, do not try this at home if you don't feel confident or competent in doing so. Otherwise, you will probably break the pen. So unless you feel confident or competent, send it to somebody who knows what they're doing to have it done professionally. I will not be responsible if you break your pen. So don't try it if you don't know what you're doing. But, as I said, we've got the Aurora 88K piston filler fountain pen, as you can see, disassembled and ready to assemble. It came to me with a couple of issues that I've actually repaired, etc. So we're ready to assemble it, and at the end of this video, I'll do a brief review. So, the cap, nice and simply, slips on and off the pen. That's nice and easy. Once you get the pen, what you'll need to do is heat the top there towards near the section, and once you've heated that, you will be able to unscrew the section. So give it some dry heat there. Again, be careful. And then what you should be able to do is take the section off. And then you'll have the feed and your nib inside. Knock out... Well, I tell a lie. Pop that into an ultrasonic cleaner if you've got one. If not, soak it. Make sure all the old ink has been cleaned off this holding this section inside so clean it thoroughly and then knock the feed from this this end here slightly different with a lot of other pens but knock it knock it through there and it will pull out through the top of the section and then what you'll have is the feed that you'll pull out like so okay there's the feed for you Okay, you can see everything is nice and clean. So once you've taken the feed out, you will also have the nib. In fact, what I'll do, let me get my tweezers so we can show you a little bit more detail. And what you'll have is the nib like so. And you can see the nib has these two little sort of bent over lugs, if you like. And what happens is that just simply slides onto the feed there and the lugs hold onto it at the back of this area here. So that's simply the nib slides off and off, sorry, off and on the feed. So once you've done that, then you will have, basically you'll have a pen that looks similar to this, like this at the end. What you'll do, you look into the top there, you'll see most pens, um, the little cap is actually lost or there's no cap on it. But you'll find if it has the cap there, gently pry the cap out. Okay, this one didn't have it, it was lost. So what I've actually done, I don't know if I can show it to you. I've actually made my own little sort of cap there, which will pop on once we're finished and then inside there what you will see is this little screw here okay and what you'll simply do is unscrew it from the hole here and on that screw there it has a little spring and that spring is a little sort of tensioning spring, if you like. The nut is actually screwed on. The spring goes on the nut there, and it's it's a tensioning nut. So if it's over-tightened, this will not turn. So be careful when you're screwing it back in. Okay. And then what you'll find... Sorry. Uh, so you've taken the screw out of... Uh, out of the uh, the blind cap there and what you should be able to do then is simply pull that that knob off inside 
what you'll have is this little brass well it's a helix like so and on that brass section there you will find a little hex nut like this if we can just turn it round there we go so it's not a hex nut as such there's no thread it's more of a washer but what you'll see there inside or to two sides you'll see it's got a little hole and in that little hole you will find this little brass pin okay so what you need to do at this point is knock out that pin from that little hex um, retaining washer once you've done that that will pull off this little brass rod it's not screwed on it simply pulls off then what you can do is turn the helix or this little brass knob here and in effect what will happen is the piston will come up to the top there and you will be able to take this piston out from the front of the barrel there okay so that'll just simply if you like just come out of the barrel like so if you wish this little section here has a thread around this area here if you wish you can heat up this particular area unscrew it and pull out that particular section inside personally I don't really think it you need to do it because as I just said if you do everything correctly you'll be able to pull the piston out from the top of the barrel there okay so we'll pop that down and inside how it actually works this little helix screws into the piston like so so then when you actually turn it you can see it'll push the piston in and out of the barrel okay this little washer here if I can get hold of it for you okay just sits on that section there in between the barrel and the knob so it's just a little washer that goes on top there let's have a look at the the piston that's the piston there as you can see it's got the sort of the thread inside there you'll also notice the piston shape itself is hexagonal and in effect this sort of section that you'll take out or you can take out inside it's also hexagonal and what happens is well the hex shape sits inside a hexagonal tube inside there and then once you screw everything together and as I've just shown you it will move inside the hexagonal tube inside <coughs> the piston itself whoops a daisy if I show you it's got this sort of I don't know if it's a plastic but let's call it a plastic it's got this little sort of washer that screws onto a thread there now originally when these when they, when they were originally made they actually had a felt and leather fiber washers and they had numerous of these washers um, unfortunately because of the way they were made or the whatever they were made out of they did deteriorate but what I've done there you can see I've installed a, a rubber o-ring okay and again this rubber o-ring when I'm installing it I'll apply a little bit of silicone grease so that we can install it inside inside the barrel and when we're installing it again I will actually be pushing it back in this way and again making sure it sits within the hexagonal tube inside okay and then we'll uh, pop pop the helix in screw that in pop the 
hexagonal nut back on, pop the pin back in, pop the um, the knob back over so it sits over the helix washer and then we'll put the screw back in with the washer, screw that back in, it screws as you can see into this end here and then last but not least we'll sort of plug it with this little plug that we showed you before that I made here. Okay. Basically, that's it. Okay. So that's basically what I wanted to do is just show you all the little bits that are involved with this with this pen. They're excellent pens, so if you get them working, the superb pens. So what I'm going to do now, I hope that was clear for you. Uh, I'm going to put the pen back together and then I'll come back. We'll do a very brief review and basically show you the pen working. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So, I'll be back once I've done it. <laughs> 